you see my screen so today we continue to learn chapter 11 in this chapter we will learn the parameter and the area so first now let's uh, try how to learn uh, how to measure segment you know in section 10.1 we introduce a line segment like a b here then you we use uh, a we use a B add a bar above these two letters A B to represent this uh, shape its uh, segment. Then when we uh, write the length of this segment, we just remove that bar. We write this one. Suppose this one equals two centimeter, so you can write this one equals two. Okay, so another concept called the middle point suppose we have a, a point here m we have length of am equals mb that means this side is one this also one then we call point m it's a middle point of segment ab right now let's uh, go to this picture suppose in this picture if zx equals wy then we use a little tip like tick like this to represent this two segment have the same length then suppose m is the midpoint of segment x y then we have am equals m y then we use this little tick to represent x m equals m y then if they're not equal we also call this two segment congruent okay we also use this word to represent they have the same length okay congruent in geometry we use this concept a lot we talk about the triangles are congruent the quadrilateral quadrilaterals are congruent now let's try to learn another very important concept called uh, parameter what is a parameter okay parameter is you know a figure they have the closed shape closed shape then the length the sum of the length of this closed shape we call that a parameter now suppose let's see the example here farmer fried wants to fence the ugly shape region show in board at the right if each of the squares show has side that that are 10 feet long the length it <coughs> this shape is 10 and uh, you know it's uh, if each of the square show has a set length that's 10 feet long each square has that has 10 feet long and the fence cost seven dollars per feet right then they ask how much will Fred's fence cost so everybody can you help me count how long is this fence right they tell you each of the squares show has the side 
sides that ten feet long, ten feet long. So then you count this uh, solid, boarded, added shape. Then see, let's start from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, right? So that's 24. Twenty-four ten feet, right? Twenty-four ten feet. And uh, each feet cost $7. So by this way, you can get that uh, one uh, thousand six eighty dollars, right? So this one twenty four times seven, you got uh, one hundred sixty eight. Then times ten, you got a one thousand six hundred eighty dollars. So then, say when we calculate uh, the parameter, this is called the parameter of this orderly shape, we do a very basic way. Do you think? Do you can can you find the shortcut to calculate the this parameter? You know shortcut. Say first you count what is the length of this rectangle? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So length that's seven. Why is one, two, three, four, five? That's five. So then this ugly shape actually has the same parameter with this uh, um, rectangle. So you do seven plus five then times two so this one give you 24 parameter so then 24 times 10 so you got, we got the same answer right so then you can think why this one uh, satisfy so if you push this side to here right this one go here this one will go here then you push this one to here. Then push this one to here. Then push this one to here. Push this one to here. See, you can make this uh, ugly shape will convert to the regular rectangle. So then you can just use a regular rectangle parameter to replace this uh, parameter. So then say we got this answer. Now let's go to next one. 11.2. See, in this problem, we have a triangle. It's called equilateral. Equilateral means all three sides have the same length. Then in this diagram at the right, all three triangles are equilateral. Point D is the middle point of AC, this, playing from iPhone. this one, Hello. this D is middle point of AC, and the G is middle point of AE. Then they tell you AC, length of AC equals 4. Then they ask you what is the parameter of a, B, C, D, E, F, G. So then you go this way, A, B, then B, C, then C, D, D, E, then E, F, 